My name is Ian Kerr. I'm the CEO of Ocean Alliance and we're based in the old Tar and Wonson paint factory here on the Gloucester waterfront. And we've just finished a very successful campaign raising money for a machine we affectionately call Snotbot. And this tool is sort of the ultimate expression of a benign research tool. It's a tool that we can use to collect physical data from whales without the whales knowing. So hormones, stress hormones, pregnancy hormones, viruses, bacteria, DNA, we can get this biological treasure trove from whale breath or whale snot, which is why we call it snot pot. And um, we're very excited because you can't, if you and I go to the doctor, you know, they'll say, well, let's take some blood to know what's going on. Well, you can't just take blood from a whale. And we need to make sure that when we collect data from a whale, our presence doesn't affect the whale's behavior. So we can use these drones to fly out, collect whale snot. The drones are cheaper. We can run them from a small inflatable dinghy. And also it can be more collaborative, more of the collaborative commons, which is other people can be joining the live video feed that's coming from a camera that's on the drone. And it's also good for us because when we're collecting the snot, we fly over the whale, tilt the camera down, and then we see the whale snot coming up and being collected by the drone. So we know we've got a sample before we come home. And I will admit, it's fun to be working in Gloucester. We love this location, but it's also fun to try to be emulating the greats before us, like Hammond, like Tar and Watson, and Birdseye. And I still see Gloucester as an innovation port and happy to be here. So Snotbot was developed just by taking a drone that we custom built and then we, we said, well, we can't test it out on a whale. So we developed a thing we called Snot Shot, which is a little sort of potato gun that shoots blows up into the air. And we actually rapid prototyped different blowholes so we could get different exhalation patterns from our snot shot. So we developed our own drones, developed a data collection process. We're collecting the snot in sponges and small tubes. And then the whale surrogate, which was the thing that, that carries a sort of the snot shot gun, actually had acoustic sensors on it, hydrophones, downforce pressure plates, anemometers on it, so we could collect all this information about what a whale might feel. So before taking the drone and flying it out over the whale, we actually ran a whole series of experiments over months with different blades for the drones that make different sounds to understand when we take this out in the field, what will it mean to a whale? Will it even know that it's there? And we think that it won't. So we live on planet ocean. We don't live on planet Earth. 71% of this planet are our oceans. The future of humanity is in our oceans. We need to know what's going on in our oceans because they're sort of the toilet. They're downhill from everything, so everything gets washed into the oceans. If we want to know what's going on in the oceans, scientists need what we call a bioindicator species or a canary in the coal mine. And whales are those species. Whales are the only mammalian species that are found worldwide. So we could turn from save the whales to saved by the whales. And that's part of the mission that we are on at Ocean Alliance. 